As darkness falls in a small residential neighbourhood, street lamps flicker on to light the gloom. The street lamps have popped up all over neighbourhoods in the Thai province of Samut Prakan. Each one is adorned with a mythical being, the Kinari, half woman, half beast. Orr's been living here all his life. He's thrilled the narrow path beside his house on the canal is now well lit, but he's concerned about the expense. Each lamppost is reported to have cost more than 3,000 US dollars. To be honest, I think it's a bit pricey. I think it'll be nice if we can take some of the budget they spent on the lights and spend it on something more useful. On the back streets close to Bangkok's International Airport, the lights have an aviation theme. These lamps are reported to have cost even more, the model aeroplanes alone costing nearly a thousand dollars. An extravagance for a small rural road. The local government's currently under investigation amid concerns about kickbacks in the procurement process. They've spent more than 10% of their annual budget on streetlights alone. Outside the district office sits the mayor's convertible sports car, which he says he owned before he got the job. He says he has nothing to hide. We are more than happy to help facilitate the investigation. We took the investigators to see the lights. They already checked every single light and they are looking into the procurement process and I think that my office followed every guideline in the book. That maybe, you know, if... if John Winyu hosts a satirical news show called Shallow News in Depth. Corruption scandals are a common theme. I think it's very sad that news about the corruption has become something so common in this country. Reports about officials taking bribes and money is not something new for Thai people anymore. Down here, they've recently installed 35 of these shiny new lampposts at a conservative cost estimate of $3,000 a piece. That means the local government has spent $105,000 US dollars on lighting a dead-end, single-track dirt road. With Thailand experiencing its worst economic downturn for 30 years, it seems strange to be investing so much in streetlights. But at least the birds now have somewhere to perch and a light to guide them home. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera, Samud Prakan, Thailand.